Uh, please welcome Kendra Tupper, and she's going to talk about why we need to get off the gas. Welcome, Kendra. So to avoid catastrophic climate change, we need to switch from fossil fuels to clean renewables. And everyone seems to get that, right? Burning coal is bad, fracking is awful, oil spills are the worst. But there seems to be a disconnect with one fossil fuel, natural gas. I don't know about you, but I don't think about things like global warming, air pollution, and safety issues while my furnace is keeping me cozy when I get Netflix and chill. I don't know. <laughs> so why is that? Well, there's a lot of money and political influence in the fossil fuel industry. Our fearless leader is telling us that gas is the answer, and gas companies are pouring billions of dollars into marketing campaigns. Plus, it's natural, so it has to be good for us, right? It's long been touted as a clean, quiet, odorless gas that's a necessary bridge fuel to more renewables. So are these things even true? And if they are, is being quiet and odorless really the holy grail we should aspire to? What is it that the neighbors of serial killers always say about them? <laughs> I never suspected a thing. Ted was so quiet and he just kept to himself. <laughs> so is natural gas really a bridge fuel? Or is it just a bridge to nowhere? <laughs> so I will admit in the short term, natural gas is helpful in making utility scale renewables feasible and cost effective. But as we transition building loads to electric uses, like space and water heating, we reduce our reliance. And as battery prices get lower and lower, that bridge can get smaller and smaller. So what are the real facts about natural gas that don't show up in the billboards? First, there's something inherently different about how we're getting our natural gas today. Ignore how oddly happy this woman looks, <laughs> because this is scary. Um, horizontal fracking is allowing harmful chemicals and methane directly into our water supply. And aside from ground and water contamination, natural gas is actually worse for global warming than burning coal. So it's made up primarily of methane, which traps about 80 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. Um, it also leaks all across the system, everywhere from extraction, storage, distribution, and use at rates way higher than we previously thought. When you account for all of that, fracked gas has about twice the global warming impact over 20 years when compared to burning coal. In 2017, an abandoned gas line in Firestone caused a fatal house explosion when this odorless gas seeped in through the drains. And since then, there's been 12 more fires and explosions caused by natural gas. It emits harmful pollutants and increases carbon monoxide levels in homes. And a recent report came out and showed that the cancer risk for people that live close to oil and gas facilities is eight times higher than normal. Yeah. <laughs> so there's new info like this coming out every day. Five years ago, we didn't correlate natural gas with kids getting asthma. But when you look at data like this, it makes a pretty compelling case that this is what quiet and odorless <laughs> really does. The good news is that there are viable all-electric alternatives to most gas equipment. So air and water source heat pumps, heat pump water heaters, and induction cooktops, to name a few. But let's be real. Right now in Colorado, natural gas is cheaper than electricity. So this comes with a cost. Um, we've shown through analysis and pilot projects that it can make financial sense today to go all electric for, new, for newly constructed buildings. But for existing buildings, the economics are a lot more challenging. We've found that pairing these technologies with on-site solar really helps. The payback for solar is now so good, it helps finance this fuel switching. Um, it also lowers demand charges that would otherwise increase if you went all electric. So what is the city of Boulder doing? When we're not busy suing major fossil fuel companies, we still have a lot of time. We're running rebate programs, passing local energy codes, advocating for policy reform at the state and federal level, and trying to form a local electric utility. We just launched Comfort 365 in partnership with Boulder County. It's one of the first programs that are, that's going to support residents who want to make this switch from gas to all electric equipment. And to help with the upfront cost, we partnered with Excel Energy, major heat pump manufacturers, and local distributors to offer huge rebates and also provide training across the supply chain. So Boulder County residents can contact Energy Smart to take part. So if you don't like global warming, exploding houses, or serial killers, 
If you care about your kids getting asthma, and if you don't want fracking in anyone's backyard, help Colorado get off the gas.